Jonathan from Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. I'm going to demonstrate today how to install a floating intake sleeve on a Franklin C1 submersible pump or a Strum BSP submersible pump. The materials we need for this job are the pump itself, and in this case, uh, I'm using the Franklin C1 10 gallon per minute cistern pump, not to be confused with the 20 gallon per minute version, which is designed for septic systems. The 10 gallon per minute pump is designed to uh, pressurize the water line for residential household use. So we're using the 10 gallon per minute C1 cistern pump, which we sell on our website. Um, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver, a rubber mallet, some sort of uh, lubrication. In this case, I'm using a natural uh, 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 dish soap, um, detergent free uh, uh, and also free of uh, uh, chemicals and scents. Uh, you can also use mineral oil and then uh, the floating intake sleeve itself. And step one is going to be to remove this black plastic base which is on both the Strom and the Franklin C1 pump. Uh, and to do that, we're going to take out these two screws with the Phillips head screwdriver. With the two screws now removed, this black plastic base just pulls right off of the pump. Making the next step to remove this intake screen, the stainless steel intake screen. And again, there are two Phillips head screws holding it in place. With the Phillips head screws uh, off, the screen just pops right off and exposes the intake for the pump. This is what's going to get sleeved over by the floating intake sleeve. So we're going to grab this uh, intake sleeve here. Um, this It comes with a nipple that we, we won't actually need. Um, that's an extra part. But we're going to remove, we're going to loosen these screws on here, these clamps. We're going to loosen them all the way and we're going to coat this, this uh, rubber sleeve with either mineral oil or our natural um, uh, dish soap. Step three, now that the clamps are loosened and, and it is lubricated, we're going to slide this sleeve right over the bottom of the pump and we'll lightly tap it with that rubber mallet to get it to go all the way up to this first ring on the, on the bottom of the pump. So the black sleeve will be up to the first ring. As we put the intake sleeve on, we'll want to ensure that this this threaded uh, nipple here um, goes in between the support posts uh, for the, the pump. Uh, we don't want this post to block this, this inlet here. Um, so we're going to line it up in between and then we're going to slide it onto the pump. When you're sliding this sleeve onto the bottom of the pump, it does help to take the clamps uh, all, all the way loose and also if you're really having a hard time there's a little stop right there on the pump if you're really having a hard time you can cut little relief slits uh, I just used a pocket knife to just cut that that little bit one on either side um, so that it would uh, expand a little more easily to slide over that that bottom lip there and once you have it in place you should be able to see all the way through uh, there should be a clear passage into the intake of the pump. Our next step would be to thread this floating intake hose into the into the intake sleeve. Um, the hose comes pre-wrapped with some uh, uh, with some uh, plastic ties and it also on the intake here um, if you notice you can unthread this intake and underneath it right here this piece here is a check valve that this is not necessary for the function of the floating intake because both the BSP and the C1 pumps have check valves built into the top of the unit um, so what we usually do is remove this check valve and uh, uh, you can actually just toss it um, so if you unthread this this intake screen here And then you unthread this component here. This is the check valve. Um, and uh, this is the part that is not necessary. If you leave it in, before you turn on the pump, you'll need to pour water into this hose to fill it um, against the check valve so it's primed uh, in order for the pump to be used uh, successfully. Or just the easiest thing to do is just pull it out 
throw it away and, and thread that intake screen back right onto this uh, threaded adapter. And now the uh, floating intake hose is threaded into the sleeve uh, and with the zip ties cut our pump is ready to start drawing water from uh, the top of the cistern. So what this floating intake does is it, it pulls this uh, six feet of hose uh, as far up the the tank is this floating is this float ball will will uh, go um, and it's just it's suspending this intake uh, right here to draw the cleanest water that's in your cistern which is going to be towards the top of the tank uh, where the sediment is going to be least concentrated um, so this really does improve water quality and it's uh, very easy to install thank you so much for watching